hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is the part 7 of our laravel tutorial series and in this video we're going to discuss how to work with models and migrations but before going into models and database migrations let's try to add first the about and services uh, links here in our navigation bar so let's go ahead and try to do that in our code editor and in here we can try to open up our app.blade.php so let's go ahead um, under views and then layouts app.blade.php and as you can see here we have here the links of the login and register so all we have to do now is just copy this and paste it here so we'll just add the links so for example for our home uh, let's just put slash there for our home and then copy that for our um, services so the link for our services is slash services and the same thing with our about paste that there and change this uh, link into slash about and then let's just go ahead uh, save this and let's uh, refresh our page and there you go we can see that we have the home services and about section but i think we need to modify the layout because we want this home services and about to align with login and register so in order for us to do that let's go back to our code editor and in here instead of uh, having one nav item so let's make it uh, three for our home and then the same thing for our services close the list item tag and paste another one so save this and here refresh so as you can see now we have the home services about login and register links aligned together and if you try to click any of these links it should work for all of them so the about services home and also the login and register links one last thing that we will modify here is that we need to add some class to our content to properly position our text services and also the about us section. Let's go back to our code editor and try to modify this. And in here, let's go to the main element and it has a class of py-4 for now. So let's add a container class for this and then save, go back to our browser and refresh. There you go. You can see that the about or this elements are slightly indented from the left. So about us and also with the services. Now that we have that covered, let's try to go to the topic models and database migrations so the first thing that we're gonna need is the PHP my admin if you are using WAMP or SAM or any versions of the WAMP server so the PHP my admin is uh, embedded into that and included on the installation process and I hope that you included that during the installation process of the WAMP server or LAMP or any version of, or any variation of the WAMP server. Now we need PHP my admin because we're going we're going to add a database here. So all we have to do is click the new, and then we're just gonna name our database as PK project. There you go, and then create. Now we don't want to create tables here because we want our Laravel project to automatically create table for us. So let's go back to our code editor and make some changes and add controllers, add models for our project. And in here, let's try to open our terminal. So Alt Shift T. 
So this will open up our integrated terminal for our Atom code editor. And from here, we can uh, issue commands or run commands, artisan commands, PHP commands, or any other commands that we need. So the first thing that we're going to need is to create a controller for our post. So the keyword for that is um, PHP artisan make and then colon and then controller and of course the name of our controller which is post controller and then enter and we're just going to wait for a few seconds to allow the installations or to allow the generation of files so there you go controller created successfully and the next thing is we need to um we need to add a controller or i mean a model but for now, let's try to check first if the controller has been generated for us here in our um, project. So as you can see, we have here the post controller, uh, the uh, extends controllers, and uh, readily use the illuminate coming from the Laravel and added the namespace controllers. So the next thing that we're going to uh, generate is a model. So in order for us to do that, just like the uh, controller is to uh, issue command php artisan and then make and then instead of controller we're going to use a model and try to uh, generate a post model so as you can see we need to or i think the best way here is to use a singular um, form of post so here we are using post and then enter and uh, before that, we need to add slash m because we're going to use the migrations. So this will enable us to generate the table from our Laravel project. So dash m and then enter. And there you go, model created successfully and created migration uh, post table. So as you can see, if you try to go to our database, view database and then migrations, we have here the create post uh, table, uh, create post table migrations. So as you can see, it extends migration class, and then it has the two function up and down. And then we need to modify this method uh, function up because currently this particular function create a post table with this attribute ID, which is auto incremented. And also, it include the timestamps for created at and updated at, which will be automatically filled in when we try to run the migration command. And since we're dealing with post, we probably need two more attributes, which are uh, title and body. So in order for us to do that is we need to add it here in our app function. So table and then string. And then, of course, we need to name our attributes such as title there you go and another one for our um, body so table and then we want to make sure that we use the medium text here because uh, usually the body of a post tends to be longer than the title right so medium text and then this will be the body of our post so save this and as you can see here if you try to go to migrations we also have the migration or create users table migration for our users so we, uh, including all the attributes id name email uh, password and all other attributes included here now we will make few changes here before we run the migration and create our table so let's try to go to our env file to input our database details so we have here the database the username and the password so i think the username and password are already set but we have to update the database name which is in our case we have used the pk project there you go and then save this so before we run the migration command and generate the tables, um, I'm going to show you a quick change that I made 
in providers app service provider that php so under provider folder or providers directory and then app service provider that php make sure to import the illuminate support passage and uh, passage and then schema and inside this function boot make sure to add this schema default string length which is 191 and if you have added that already we're good to go and we're now going to issue the php artisan migrate command so php artisan and then migrate and if you try to check our php my admin and refresh our project or pk project so as you can see we have here all the tables generated coming from our project or pk project so we have here the uh, post inside this post we have the id which is the auto generated id and the title which is the length is 191 so we have set this in our code and the body and of course the timestamps the created at and updated at so in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to populate this table by using the tinker command and also we're going to work with fetching data in our database so i think that's all there is to it for this tutorial and i hope you have learned something and see you in the next tutorial thanks